First, install OpenSCAD. Uh, go to this page and find the download for your operating system. Then go to uh, install replicate.org and find the instructions here to install for your operating system. And I have OpenSCAD set up to read from this file, which is called casterstandoff.scad, and it gener generates this preview of the SCAD project, and you can do things like highlight uh, a random piece. Um, let's see if I can do that while holding the camera. And then I have OpenSCAD set up to, there we go, um, change the preview in real time. So there I'm highlighting the cubes that I used to difference with the cylinder in the middle to make this hole here and this hole here. Um, and it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's see-through uh, highlighted. And I did that by putting a little hash mark right there. And um, OpenSCAD has an option for uh, letting you use an external editor. And once you've done that, um, you can go to design, render, and uh, compile and render, which is F6, and then uh, wait until that finishes and go to uh, export as STL, and then click save. And I've already done that, so I'll just replace the file that I already made. And then open up uh, replicate.org. Um, when I installed replicate.org, it said to use, or maybe it's replicator.g, actually, that's probably right. Replicator.g, it said to use the uh, Oracle's Java, um, but I didn't, and the only thing it seems to do is not display a preview, which is fine by me because OpenSCAD already has that. Um, so then, uh, file, open the STL file. Uh, I have a few of them because I've done this a couple times. Uh, caster standoff.stl, okay. Generate G-code with this, and um, I don't use a raft support um, because I don't need it. It's for if you have a model that requires extra support when it's being built, and it's a thing that you can tear away from the 3D printed uh, model after it's done. Um, and all of this stuff, I got these defaults and stuff, I got by selecting um, replicator slicing defaults up here because the bot over there is a replicator and it has two nozzles. Um, the right and left is what you would expect. Um, so then click on generate G-code, and this part might take a while. After it's done, um, this, uh, this printer right here requires, it's covered in bags right now to keep the heat in, um, and that some say improves the print quality. I haven't really done enough prints to know. Anyway, um, when that's done, uh, then you can click on this button here to, and it says build to file for use with SD card. The um, printer has right here a little SD card slot, and there's an SD card in there right now, but I'm not going to take it out because it's currently printing my project right there. That's in progress of the thing that I just showed you on my screen. Um, and it looks like it's done, so I will click on that button, and down here uh, you have to choose the X3G option. There we go, and, um, and I've already done that, so if I click on OK, this one doesn't ask me whether or not I really want to do that. Um, and this whole time, I ran it uh, I ran this from the terminal and it, it outputs a lot of stuff and I haven't really looked into that too much but if you're curious you can find out what's going on in the background by running it in the terminal and watching it output stuff. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, to 3D print you create a model in OpenSCAD by writing code 
and hitting uh, save and configuring OpenSCAD to do uh, reload the, the model for you. And then you go to design, compile, and render, then export as STL, then open that STL in here, replicator G, generate G code, build for SD, and then take the SD over here and stick it in. And there is a uh, on switch in the back. Um, and there is a little menu right here where you can choose to build from SD card. And then you find, um, in my case, caster standoff dot x3g. And then you hit the M and then it hopefully will build your project.